Hello and welcome to SOAP UI Web Service Testing Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can create test suite and test cases in SOAP UI. Now, why is it important to create the test suite and test cases? It's similar to the manual testing that you would be doing because um, in order to organize your test cases in manual testing, you do organize them into test suite and then below test suite you'd organize those into test cases and test steps so similar concept is used in soap ui as well to organize your test cases in test suite and then add the test cases in those test suites so for example you have a regression test suite or you have a functional test suite or you have a sanity test suite and then below those test suites we have relevant test cases added to uh, these test suites so let's understand how you can create test suite and test cases in SOAP UI. Uh, so the first uh, way is to create through the project creation. So once you create the new SOAP project and you provide the WSDL, so it picks the project name already. And you can see you have the checkbox here, create test suite. So if you check this box, it will automatically prompt you to create the test suite you can also name uh, change the name of the project as per the required description that you want and if you click ok now you can see there is a pop-up which says generate test suite okay and there are multiple options available so test suite is create and then the styles so one test case for each operation so if you see four operations here add divide multiply and subtract uh, what this test suite will have is it will have one test case for each of these operations So there'll be a test case for add test case for divide test case for multiply and test case for subtract then The next option is to request content which says use existing request interface or create new empty request So I'll leave it as default create new empty request and below that you have the operation So you can select all these desel unselect all or you can select few among these operations below that you have generate load tests which is part of the load testing if uh, you are doing uh, load testing along with the web service testing uh, i'll leave that as unchecked for now and click ok so now you need to enter the name of the test suite so i'll say regression tests all right and now the regression test test suite has been created in the left hand side right now below that test suite um now because there are two soap bindings here so uh, two versions so this is for soap 1.1 and there is another soap 1.2 so that's why there is another prompt to create the test suite for soap 1.2 protocol as well so we'll do same thing again and click ok and I'll say regression tests 1.2 right so now you can see there are two test suites created and below these test suite you have four test cases right and then each of these test case has these operations so add operation is there and then below divide test case you have test step which contains divide operation right as we checked in the creation now the other way to create the test suite and test cases is simply once the once your project is created you just right click on the project and then create a new test suite okay and i'll say sanity tests right and now the sanity test test suite has been created now below this test suite you need to add your test cases and below your test cases you need to add your test steps so to create the test case you simply click on this small check um, uh, uh, check here uh, which says creates a new test case in this test suite so if you click on this it will simply ask you to specify the test case name so i'll say addition and click OK. And now you have different icons here. 
uh, soap rest http depending what you want to add so you simply uh, if you want to add a new soap request to this particular uh, test uh, that step will get added so you can say just say soap request and click ok and will ask which soap request you want to invoke as part of this step so you can select either 1.2 version or 1 so because this is uh, for 1.1 1 .1, we'll say calculator soap add request and click ok then in this next uh, pop-up you see add soap response assertion so these are some of the assertions that are available if you check these so it will check for the response assertion that uh, it adds validation that the response is a soap message so if there is a if the response is not a soap message the, the test will fail and then you can add schema assertion or not so fault assertion so we'll talk a lot more detail in uh, assertions in later tutorial and the last option is create optional element so it will create the optional content in the sample request not only the mandatory but all the optional elements will also be present in this soap request if you click ok now you can see i'll close this window so this is the soap request that got created below this test step i'll close all of these windows here now you can see sanity test uh, has been created the test suite below that there is a test case addition i'll maybe just um, if you want to rename just rename it i'll say addition test to make it more clear so now you have sanity test test suite below that you have addition test and you have one test step below this addition test now why do you need to have test case and then test step because uh, a single test case might not necessarily be having just one soap request or a rest request there will be multiple steps to perform your end-to-end -end test right so that is why the main reason that you need to have different test steps in the test case so if you want to add more test steps, just right click on the test steps and click on add step and you will see a lot more steps that are available uh, you can add another soap request so for example there is a request that you send to a server there is a response which is utilized in another request so you can store that response in in any external file or in the properties uh, which which will be covered uh, in a lot more detail in this tutorial as well and then pass it on to the next service or next request that you add uh, similarly, you have REST, uh, HTTP, AMF, JDBC, and Properties. Uh, properties and Property Transfer and Groovy Script will be used a lot more detail uh, to give you a bit of fair, a fair bit of idea how you can do end-to-end -end testing uh, in SOAP UI. So, for example, I add a Groovy Script. It will add another step of Groovy Script, and you can reorganize the steps in your test case so for example you have you want to write a script to read the data from an external file and then pass that data to this particular soap request so for example you don't want to hard code the values here right uh, and then send a request you can write a groovy script to read this these um, this data from external file pass that data here and then send this particular request so all these uh, functionalities you can do in soap ui so that is pretty much all about creating the test suite and test cases in soap ui in future tutorials we will dig a lot more deeper into the functional testing using soap ui uh, the manual testing using soap ui and then we'll also understand how you can do automated testing in soap ui by writing groovy script uh, and using the uh, features provided by the SOAP UI. Thank you very much for watching.